Hello everyone, my name is Jessa Miquel from the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines and taking up Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology. For now, we're going to tackle the zoogeography of freshwater fishes with the zoogeographic types, zoogeographic regions, African region, neotropical region, oriental region, Hawaii Arctic region, North American region, Australian region, plate tectonics and distribution of freshwater fishes, place to see in this age. We're going to explain it with my cool members who are me, Jessa, and Jessa Ilhan Dumon, Resami Salim. Now, so the geography of freshwater fishes. Nearly half of all fish species live in freshwater, which means they swim in the rivers, lakes, and wetlands that make up less than 3% of Earth's water supply. Some species of freshwater fish, such as salmon and trout, are called anadromas. The freshwater system of the Philippines is the last zoogeographic region of Southeast Asia. The area is characterized by the presence of closely related species of cypronates, especially in Lake Kalanau. Currently, high diversity of these freshwater fishes is being threatened by land development, such as deforestation, road construction, and land expansion for plantations. When we say cypronade, it is the name for any of the freshwater fishes in the menu or carp, family cypronidae, which includes such members as carp, goldfish, zebrafish, minnow, and chub, with over 200 genera and over 2,000 species. Cypronidae is the largest family of freshwater fishes in the world and may even be the largest family of vertebrates with the possible exceptions of Gubiridae. Cyprinades are for important ecological, commercial, nutritional, scientific, and recreational values. Ecologically, many are integral to freshwater food chains, Variously feeding on plants, planktons, crustaceans, insects, mollusks, fish, and so forth, while being consumed by larger fish, mammals, birds, and so forth. Some are important for the of commercial and culinary value raised in aquaculture farms, such as the silver carp and grass carp, others such as the goldfish, uh, Carasios oratus, and koi. It is Cyprinos carpio. A variety of the common carp are popular aquarium and ornamental species. In the right side, we got a harlequin's rasbora. This fish is from Kingdom Animalia, Pylum cordata. Class Atinopteridae, Order Cypriniforms, Family Cypriniidae, Zoogeography Types. There are two types of zoogeography. There are Ecological Zoogeography, Historical Zoogeography. Now we proceed to the first one. Ecological Zoogeography. It attempts to understand and determine the role of the present biotic and abiotic interactions that affect the distribution of particular group of animals. When we say biotic and abiotic, these are the factors are what make up ecosystems. Biotic factors are living things within an ecosystem, such as plants, animals, and bacteria. Well, abiotic are non-living components, such as water, soil, and atmosphere. They will, these components interact is critical in an ecosystem. 
Well, the second one is the historical zoogeography to explain the present day areas of distribution of animals in the light of what is known of the origin and the evolution of organisms and landscapes. Zoogeography regions. The zoogeography is the branch of the science of biogeography that is concerned with geographic distributions. The present and past of animal species. Uh, the current trend is to classify the floristic kingdoms of botany or zoogeographic regions of zoology as biogeographic realms. They included the African region, Neotropical region, Oriental region, Palaearctic region, North American region, and Australian region. We're going to talk on this one to the next one. African region. This region is the similarities between the freshwater fresh faunas found us of 52 West African rivers have been investigated and three main zoogeographic regions we can make. The Sudania so region includes all river the Senegal to the Ama, as well as coastal basins from Ivory Coast to the Cross and the Wari. The Upper Guinean region comprises the coastal basins from Genia to Olivaria and the Lower Genian one. The coastal rivers of Cameroon and Gabon, the Sudanian region, can be subdivided into a Sudanian region. Census tracto, including the Sahel Sudanese rivers and the Evorneo Ghanaian region, corresponding to the coastal basins from the Sess to the Pra. These delimitations give highly significant within region faunal homogeneity, even if the effect of geographical proximity between rivers is removed. 21 to 71 percent of the fish species in each region are endemic. The present patterns of distribution are the result of the past climatic and geological events affecting with West Africa and given this framework. The role of alternating weight and dry periods during the early quaternary is emphasized as well as the links by a Tlagon is emphasized in explaining river fold. Importance of mountains as dispersal barriers. Role of recent river connections, non similarities within biogeographical regions. Neotropical region. The Neotropical region contains the largest number of mammal species in the New World. The second highest number of species, I mean mammal species in the planet, and is the region with the largest number of endemic mammal families in the world. On the left side, we can see a lot of fishes. This is the example of Neotropical region freshwater fishes. Yeah. This one. So continuous to report Oriental region. Most diverse are the minmos, yoches, and twelve families of catfish. Claride walking catfish and bug ride catfish are practically diverse. Other important groups is include algae eaters, river leeches, snakeheads and spiny elves, labyrinth fish and georamis. A few Chilids and archer fish. Hyaratic region. This region shows wide range of temperature fluctuations. It also shows wide range of fluctuations in amount of rainfall. It includes polar, polar Arctic region. On this northern side, it shows temperature conditions. Eastern Asia shows dedicatious forest. In the northern region, steppe grasslands are present. 27 families are um, about 60 species of temperature freshwater fishes occur in the region. Dominated by minmos, minnows are leeches but also 
purchase North America region North America region is is defined not as the entire continent but as a Neoarctic geographic realm the Neoarctic realm includes the entire continental landmass including Greenland Alaska Canada the lower 48 state and the big city south too and where in the Mexican plateau breaks down in the landmass of Central America. This includes many species that are rare in the North America freshwater habitats. For example, bull shark, Charcharhinus leucas, or the or that are generally limited to estuaries of the trying downstream. Portions of a river where salt and fresh water meet. Exotic fish are includes if they are have or are suspected to have established populations in the wild. Hi, sir. Good afternoon, sir. This is our last part of our topic. Australian region. The Australian region, New Guinea, Australia, New Zealand, and Oceania. It's a relatively depopulated in the true fish water fishes. And in fact, all but three of the fresh water fishes in the region are members of families obviously derived from the marine groups. A large proportion of fresh water species are endemic to Australia. The family persisted temperate purchase and other families suspected in the reality to lie within it e g gatop city have risen to prom prominence in and terminate many of its fresh water systems in contrast to the northern hemisphere where fresh water fish Finias are overwhelmed, mainly dominated by the carp family. Cyprinidae, no cyprinid species, is native to Australia. And next, pet tectonics and distribution of freshwater fishes. First, plate tectonics. Second, re rearrangement of land masses and third sun fishes restricted to in a arrows follow following split of land masses temperate fresh waters drainage devices and second brood drainages isolate isolate aquatic communities mississippi versus atlantic slope Drainage devices, drainage rearrangements, steam capture, population of a Mississippi Mississippi are fishes on Atlantic slope. It used to map blend nudes, put to map captured Mississippi. That's all for today, sir. Thank you.